Guys, welcome back. It's Fezzi here from P4CNS. You saw in the thumbnail today, we are busting open a complete booster box worth. That's right, 36 packs of Hidden Fates. Now, as we are approaching uh, the release of the new Hidden Fates Shiny Star V, I thought we uh, bust open a booster box worth of Hidden Fates uh, to walk down the memory lane of this wonderful, wonderful set. Also, because we are a little bit um, over Vivid Voltage, um, as we have opened uh, 150 packs, I think, over the last couple of days. So guys, if you haven't watched any of those, uh, I will put it in the drop down link from the top as well as in the description below. One video in particular you want to check out is our live stream where we announce seven winners for our seven prices. In that video, spoiler alert, we open vintage Japanese base set where we pull the amazing, the GO80, the GOAT of all Pokemon cards, the legendary Charizard. So make sure you go check it out. I will also put it right in the drop down from the top as well as in the description link below. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Also, as a progress, uh, as you can see, my facial hair is starting to grow out. May not be that noticeable on camera due to my lack of uh, facial hair gene, uh, but it is, uh, as we're filming this today, we are uh, 5th of November and we are slowly seeing signs of life. Now, uh, in terms of uh, participating in November, there's a couple of ways to do it. I'm going to stick with the traditional moustache. So um, in the coming weeks, uh, or in the coming days rather, I'm going to shave off uh, a bit of here and there. Uh, hopefully in the next couple of videos, my mo will start to be a little bit more noticeable. Now, if you want to donate, and I would appreciate uh, any kind of donation, I will also put my Movember uh, donation link in the description below. Now, if you're new to my channel, uh, welcome. Uh, this particular channel aims to give you guys the latest Pokemon cards review and opening as soon as possible. And sometimes even before the release date, like we did with Vivid Voltage. So guys, I would appreciate it if you subscribe. And then after you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell for the latest videos and updates. All right, without further ado, Let's open some Hidden Fates today. All right guys, before we start, just wanted to show you this particular spreadsheet. It is the same format we use uh, for Vivid Voltage. Now, as you can see, the highlighted in green are the cards that we have collected already. Uh, obviously, without any coloring or blank spaces are the cards that we are still missing. And surprisingly, like I mentioned, we're still missing the 9 of 68 Charizard GX. Uh, as we scroll down, uh, not awfully a lot of cards left, uh, but in terms of shiny vault wise, we are missing quite a lot of the full art. So it is still a bit of a stretch in terms of completing this particular set. Now, as you can see here, 163 cards, including the shiny vault in this particular set. And we have collected 120, uh, 43 to go. Now, I can't even remember how many packs we have opened so far so we don't know what the hit rate is but in terms of completion we are 73.6 to 74 percent at the moment so hopefully after today we can bump that number up just a little bit more all right guys here it is um all sorted 36 packs uh, let's go with the charizard packs first uh, as we always do now, in terms of uh, Pokemon news this week, there's actually quite a lot been happening. Um, most noticeably um, is the, uh, there's one video, um, PokeRev, a lot of, I'm sure a lot of you guys know who he is, PokeRev. Um, he does a lot of box break, uh, live box break on vintage stuff or some modern stuff as well. Uh, and one of the box break that he did was Alteria here, not Alteria, and then we've got a Butterfree, but uh, not the not Reverse Holo or Holo card, which we need. So first pack here, we hit a Alteria. Uh, coming back to my point, I, I think it was a Neo Genesis, yeah, Neo Genesis box, um, a vintage Japanese Neo Genesis uh, box 
uh, and he did a box break and then I think maybe not even halfway through I actually didn't watch the video in full to be honest um, so I think yeah maybe halfway through or third of the way through uh, Magic Cup here and then Jesse and James holo yeah so I think halfway through a third of the way through he realized um, he realized the cards were fake and I was in complete shock. I was in complete shock. And I'll tell you the reason why. Now, um, it's not old news, or well, it's not news that uh, Pokemon cards, there are counterfeit Pokemon cards or proxy Pokemon cards. Uh, but they're actually more known, Weezing here and then Erica Hospitality. Um, they're more known in for English sets. So, uh, I th and I think it's because maybe a little bit easy to make and maybe because there is a market there. Uh, for the proxy English cards. So quite often when you see fake Pokemon cards, they are from the English set. Uh, however, uh, you know, this is first time I've seen fake Japanese card and uh, I was quite surprised and, and shocked, to be honest, uh, if anything, uh, because I, yeah, I just haven't seen fake Japanese cards before. So to see fake Japanese cards um, and you know a, a re pretty much a resealed box, I think uh, definitely was a bit of a shock. And I think again, it makes a lot of people, uh, you know, from I think from the from the what is it the Guru fake box uh, on Dumb Money or something like that. I can't remember. Uh, it certainly Inke here and then a Giovanni Exile. We've got a double hit here. Wow, shiny and a Giovanni XL again. The um, the centering is very off for these cards, so not great at all. But um, yeah, I think people are a little bit uh, what's the word? Anxious and cautious about this their seal product. Um, you know, and and after all, Pokemon uh, with the recent spike, uh, it is a heavy investment for some people. Uh, but and I think to the point where. You know, finding out this particular... We've got an Angel Founder employee! Wow! And then a Jesse and James again. Now, this card we definitely don't have, so I'm pretty happy. This is one of the shiny cards from the shiny vault there. And centering actually looks really good as well. So, very happy. Uh, but yeah, it, it makes me a little bit anxious as well, because I have bought a lot of Japanese loose packs uh, previously. But I think... Um, you know, and, and Pokerad was actually saying that these um, these would have done more, probably a little bit more recently um, with the spike in Pokemon prices. Uh, Frogadier here, and then a Erica Hospitality. We need this card in a in a in a hollow or a reverse. All right, so the Charizard pack actually been pretty good. We hit uh, four shiny so far. Not bad, not a bad start, but. Anyway, um, you know, as you guys know, on my live stream recently, I opened up four vintage packs, and um, I believe they're all, all real, and all the vintage stuff that I've got from Japan, or the Japanese pack, I believe they're all real, but it certainly does make one a little bit panicky uh, when you start seeing, um, you know, one, you start seeing fake product, uh, and two, you start seeing fake product um, in, the product that normally doesn't have fake stuff because again I, I think traditionally correct me if I'm wrong Japanese cards are not that popular uh, compared uh, to uh, English cards but I think it's because given the recent popularity of uh, Pokemon uh, English stuff is definitely way 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 too expensive uh, so you know, and I think that's why some people have now resorted to uh, buying Japanese cards here. We've got Misty Determination and then a Lapras there. And then with that, you know, obviously, whatever you want to call them, scammers, whatnot. So they're, you know, you know creating fake cards now. So I'm, I'm, I'm a bit worried. I was a bit worried. I'm still a little bit worried. Um, I mean, again, um, only it only makes you wonder uh, about the stuff and like again recently we opened a vintage base set and we pulled a Charizard again I don't think that's fake but you know in the back of your mind you're like oh <laughs> Metapod here and then a Kangaskhan there speaking of which and speaking of uh, uh, hidden fakes 
Um, now I have pool, and this is all gonna come around, guys. I'm not boasting here or blowing my own trumpet. We have pulled the Charizard GX, the shiny Charizard in this particular set twice. Uh, we have sent them off to PSA for grading, and just now we received an email from PSA saying that these cards are coming home. They're coming back. So I spent, I sent four cards to PSA for grading. Another Giovanni Exile here, and this time the card is a little bit better in terms of centering. Uh, so yeah, email from PSA saying that the four cards we submitted for Express Service, which is two Charizard GX uh, and two shiny uh, Charizard V, which is a secret rare from Champion's Path, they're coming back. They're coming back. So we should be expecting them within the next sort of one to two to three days. Uh, and then now by popular demand, we will be doing a live stream. Uh, again, uh, you guys really putting me through pain in this one because, um, you know, these cards, these cards, these cards, these cards, God, uh, these cards, um, if they are all PSA 10, uh, they are worth $5,000 dollars us in terms of value maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less uh but they definitely hold their value there so i'm pretty anxious uh, but i will open it up with you guys so you guys can see my instant reaction oh another one another one and then the kangasan here so we have been pulling a few hits here and there but not particularly cards that are Filling up the collection. Only one at the moment. So uh, I don't know how many we opened so far. We probably opened close to half uh, or third, and we've only got one card. One card that um, that ticked off one of the collection item there. Coferi. Yes. Sorry guys. Uh, way too excited for a reverse holo. Um, Butterfree here, uh, which is what we need, and then Blaine last then. So Butterfree, welcome, welcome to the collection. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm uh, with PSA. They actually give you can actually look at your grades um, after they've sent it to you, uh, so you don't have to wait. Uh, which is, I actually don't know. Like it is, it's. Yeah, you, you you waited for that long, you might as well wait, right? But some people want to find out early, so um, so they do let you know the grades. Now, I haven't looked at the grades. Um, I'm holding it off, similar to Petrify here, and then a Blaine last then. So we've got a, finally got a um, full art shiny Pokemon here, a Detrify again. Uh, we've got this one already. I would have been much happier if it was a... Uh, Greninja, actually, we haven't got a Greninja yet, but I uh, haven't looked at the grades. Ideal result, ideal result would be four PSA 10s, ideal result. Now, I do remember there is one of the shiny, uh, sorry, one of the Charizard GX from the shiny vault. The centering is a just ever so slightly off, it's ever so slightly off. Um, Whoa, we got a Lucario here, and then we've got Brock's training. We've got double hit here. Wow, I'm not sure whether we've got this Lucario card yet, so let me just check it out. All right, we're back. Uh, just check on the spreadsheet and also uh, fiddle with the cards a little bit. We haven't uh, pulled or collected the Lucario yet, so well done. Another card, another shiny full art card collected very very happy uh, i think i was a little bit more happier <laughs> uh, when i pulled the butterfree rather than the lucario which is strange um, mainly i think because i thought i had the lucario so uh, the lucario i think it's really funny like this particular set here misty water command and then blaine last then i think with this particular set uh, we haven't finished our PSA topic yet, so we'll, go, we'll come back to that. But with this particular set, um, I really feel Lucario and uh, Greninja is really, really underrated. Consider they are... Uh, uh, well, consider this. Um, Ash has a Rylou at the moment, and I would bet 90% or 99%, let's go high, 99% that Ash Rylou is probably going to evolve into Lucario. 
Um, and you know, these both of these uh, have been real. A Skyper here, and then we've got a Mewtwo GX, our first GX card here. Uh, still no Charizard GX, but I would say, um, cause, sorry, coming back to that point, I would say um, these two have, have been really popular Pokemon, and I don't understand why the shiny card uh, is not getting love. Uh, the Eevee Illusion, uh, definitely getting some love, uh, but certainly not Lucario and Grand Ninja. I mean, if I have been actually speaking to uh, my friend, I, I actually say that if the next, maybe the next card, Geodude here, and then an Eevee, speaking about Eevee, I think the next cards to really look at in, t in this particular set, so you've got the Charizards up there, Mewtwo's up there, uh, the Evolution is up there, uh, and I think Lucario and Greninja need to uh, be taken a little bit seriously um, because, again, they are or they have been really popular Pokemon in the animation, uh, really po popular Pokemon with a lot of the kids as well. Uh, so I, yeah, really don't understand why it is underestimated. Oh, sorry, underrated, not underestimated. Anyway, Slowpoke here, and then Misty Water Command here. Now, coming back to our PSA point. Uh, so, yeah, four cards. Uh, ideal result for PSA 10, but one of the Charizard GX, um, in my eyes, uh, looked a bit off-centered. Um, maybe I would say, I think it was the sides. I think it was the sides. So, I would say maybe six... 4 to 5.5, 4.5 off-centered. So I don't know how much are we going to get deducted um, or will it be overlooked. If it gets overlooked, um, you'll definitely be a 10. We've got an Arbok here and Blaine. We've got a couple of Blaines here, uh, but you will be a 9, I think, uh, if, if it doesn't go that way. And then that, you know, obviously with a PSA, get a 9 and it comes to a crossroad. Uh, the crossroad is whether I crack open the case uh, and actually submit it for Beckett for grading. Losing my speech there. Um, now, I have actually submitted one card to Beckett recently just to open an account. So, uh, and then we've got Mid Tang here and then a Butterfree here, another baby shinies. Uh, but yeah, one card to PS, so one card to Beckett or BGS. Uh, the reason being, um, this particular card, so uh, one of the advantage of BGS is that they grade a larger variety of cards uh, than PSA, uh, in Pokemon uh, anyway. I don't know about the other, other set, but in Pokemon they definitely grade a larger variety of cards. So, one of the, in the shot, sorry, in the hidden fates. Oh, bam, double hit! And then a Butterfree, wow. Maybe we, uh, can we get a Metacross, Metacross Shiny? Uh, but the Chinese version, the Chinese version of the Hidden Fates, uh, PSA don't grade it, PSA don't grade it, but BGS or Beckett do, does. So that's why we uh, we actually pull a Chinese version of the Shiny Charizard GX. Uh, so we've sent it to Beckett uh, for grading, uh, hoping and praying for a black label. Uh, are we another Inke and then Misty Water? Come on, we are definitely pulling a lot of um, baby shinies here. A lot of, a lot of the baby shinies. Uh, anyway, so with sending one card in, I assume, I've never sent cards to Beckett, so I'm not 100% sure how it works, but I've been told that once you have get one card graded, they will open up an account for you, and then that's when you can submit it, uh, submit your submission. Uh, yeah, submit your submission online. Yeah, that's a mouthful. Uh, fairy energy, and then a jolty on there. Uh, anyway, um, we, yeah, maybe we'll crack open when once, once we receive it, and if it is a nine, if it is a nine, of course, we'll crack it open and send it to Beckett, maybe. Uh, let us know in the comment below uh, what should we do, and actually let us in the, know in the comment below. So with the um, with the base set Charizard that we pull, the Japanese version, uh, there is the cards. The service is not perfect. 
um, and you know, this card's here. We got a Rexurian! Wow! Off-centered, but hey, we got another card here, and then an Eevee here. Wow, Rexurian, that just about, uh, hopefully push us uh, towards the 80% mark here, because that's three Full Art Shiny that we, uh, we've got now, and Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> right, moving into the birds. Oh, I didn't even know we were into the birds packs already. So we pulled the Restrium there. Very, very nice. Uh, three uh, shiny full art uh, has been uh, ticked off from the collection list. But anyway, yeah. Um, if we were to send that particular base set Charizard card to PSA, I am pretty sure it won't get PSA 10 and it may not even get PSA 9. And there is a dent in the back, Clefable and then Butterfree there. So yeah, there's a bit of dent in the back on the surface. Um, so I'm hoping uh, to actually submit it to Beckett. And uh, the reason being, uh, Beckett gives scores um, on four category and the I would say the centering is pretty perfect on this card. Um, it's only really the back. So centering is perfect, edges is perfect, side is perfect, Charmander here, and then we've got something here, no. Charizard GX, finally, no, the birds full art there, birds full art here, so no, still no Charizard GX there. So um, anyway, in short, I'm hoping that we can get tens, three tens, so centering, uh, edges, uh, sides. I can't actually remember what the four categories are. I might check it out after this pack. But the service, we might get a bit of mark off. And, um, and when I say might, I, I would say we might, the highest we might be able to get is an eight. Is an eight. But, you know, if we get three tens and one eight, hopefully that will still give us a jet min, maybe. Uh, Charles out there. So I'm really only aiming for to get the jet mint. Aiming to get the jet mint. So hopefully we can uh, do that. So at this stage, we don't, we don't know um, where we're going to send that uh, base set Charles like or whether we will do it at all because, um, you know, like I said, the centering is, I'm uh, sorry, the, the surface of the card is, is off. Um, it's got a bit of dint. And the dint is like, I, I, I actually don't know whether I caused it or not, but it looks like, you know, someone digged in uh, in terms of uh, fingernails. Again, I don't know if it was me. Uh, might have been, might have been. I was maybe I was way too uh, excited about pulling it and, and did it out of um, consciousness. But anyway, um, let us know. Let us know if you think we should. Add a kudo here and then. Butterfree, wow, nice, nice. I don't think we have Articuno either, so, uh, wow. I actually really like this Articuno card as well. I think, again, I think, I just overall think uh, the the Shiny Fox, some of the Pokemon in the Shiny Fox are very, very underrated here. Now, all right, uh, we're coming to the end here. We've got six more packs to go. Um, wow, this is all built up. This is, uh, well, this is actually, um, beside, you know, getting the uh, getting the Charizard uh, couple of uh, two times. This has actually been one of the really good opening in terms of uh, hidden fates because we pull quite a lot of shiny full arts here. Um, so this is pretty pretty cool. All right, Voltorb, uh, coughing again. We've got another one here. We've got a Guzzlord here. Bam. And then we've got Brock's training here. That's back to back shiny full art here, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, this is uh, as I was just saying, this has been really, really um, impressive in terms of uh, hitting fates opening. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with this so far. But uh, a Greninja, a Greninja, and I don't think I've got a. Uh, what if I don't have now? I've got. I accidentally, I want to say accidentally, uh, this is way earlier when I was able to get a lot of stock on the Hidden Fates. I've submitted a few cards to PSA for grading, actually, um, with Hidden Fates. So, Paris here, and then another Butterfree here. Quite a lot of Butterfree, but uh, only one 
um, reverse holo. I haven't pulled a holo yet. Is that, is, is, that should be a holo. He's a rare. Um, anyway. Um, yeah, so we actually... Oops, not all those cut out there. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have an Espeon that I submitted for grading. And now come to think of it, I might have had a Lucario that I submitted for grading. All right, Geo dude here, Pikachu. And then a pinza there. All right, three more packs to go. Now I actually jumped off and went on to confirm uh, the four categories for the, uh, for the four subcategories, subgrades for Beckett. Um, it is centering, corners, edges, and service. So I was saying for my base set Japanese Charizard, if we can get 10 on centering, uh, 10 for corners, and 10 for edges, uh, maybe an eight on service, maybe an 8.5, would we be able to get a Jetmin there? We've got another pincer here. So hopefully, um, well, I mean, I got to, have to wait for this um the Charizard the Chinese Charizard GX to come back first and then make sure they open an up open up an account for me uh so I can uh submit it online rather than uh offline. So alright this is the second last pack here. Let's see if we're gonna get any more shiny luck here. Alright Ekens Voltorb Geodude Pikachu, Clefairy, we've got a Caterpie here, and then Erica Hospitality, we pulled a lot as well. We need this card in at least a holo or reverse holo. All right, last pack, hashtag last pack luck. Let's go for one more. Let's go for one more uh, shiny full art here. All right. We've got Chansey, Brox, Jim, Giovanni Exile, Staryu, Jigglypuff, Ekans with Articuno in the background. Geodude here, Cubo. No, Brox Gym, and then a Electro to end our 36 packs today. All right, guys, just as a quick recap before we jump onto our spreadsheet here. Today's pool is pretty good. Now, like, despite we didn't pull Charizard, nor any of the Evolution, nor um, the Grand Ninja card that I really wanted, but we pulled two of these Giovanni Exile here and then we pull i think i counted 14 if i'm wrong i'm not sure let's count it again uh 14 shiny cards here so we pull quite a lot of doubles here in k uh we've got two of these um we pull back to back uh bedroom and me <laughs> that was pretty fun uh alteria and then we've got a detri where we pull one already but this is where the fun begins we pull guzzlog we didn't have Articuno. i don't think we had Reshium, we definitely didn't have and then a Lacario that we didn't have. And then this, Aether Foundation employee. All right, uh, we just updated uh, the spreadsheet. Now we have collected 126 cards. Uh, we're missing 37. We bumped up our completion rate a little bit. Uh, not too much, but a little bit is enough. 77.3% uh, from what I remember, we're 74, 73 at the start. So not a bad opening at all. All right, guys, there you have it. We pulled 14 uh, shiny Pokemon from 36 packs. On top of that, we pulled two Giovanni Exile card as well and one uh, full art bird trio. So definitely not a bad opening at all today, uh, especially with Hidden Fades. Although we didn't pull the Charizard GX or any of the Evolution, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. All right, guys, uh, until next time, I think uh, next week's uh, schedule is going to be a little bit funny because uh, we've got a PSA return live opening. We've got a uh, investment video. You can see investment video um, talking about risk in uh, Pokemon uh, investment. And then we'll probably jump back into uh, Vivid Voltage as our last video for next week. That's tentatively at, uh, at the moment. Uh, it could change. Anyway, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this particular video. Make sure you give us a like if you did uh, on this particular video or any of our other content. Uh, guys, most importantly, though, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so. And then after you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell for the latest videos and updates. Until next time, guys, I hope the God of Pools be with you always.